What's poppin' everybody? Cooper here. Okay, so this is a interesting topic. It's the topic of mythic weapons. Okay, so what is what is the mythic kind of idea in ESO? So mythics are a class of gear. You can only have one mythic equipped at a time. And currently we only have jewelry and armor. We don't have any mythic weapons. Okay. And typically they not typically, every single time they involve the antiquity system. So antiquities were released with the Greymore chapter. So you go to Solitude in Western Skyrim, there is a NPC there that'll introduce you to the skill lines of scribing and excavating. Essentially what you do is you go around playing the game and you have chances for leads to drop. Leads are basically like clues that'll clue you into where something is buried, which you can then go excavate. And what you're excavating or digging up is a part of that mythic gear. Usually, I don't think there's another instance of this where it's not, but all of the mythic pieces of gear require five different clues. Once you've collected those five leads or clues, they automatically combine and you get your mythic gear. Examples of this would be like the Open Soul Ring, Velothi or Mage's Amulet, Ring of the Pale Order, and stuff like that that I think a lot of people have heard of. So why don't we have mythic weapons? Well, I think some people would argue and say, the reason we don't have mythic weapons is because we have arena weapons. And so they would occupy the same sort of idea. So arena weapons, um, you know, fill up your weapon slot and they count as a two piece bonus, uh, their own two piece bonus. You have perfected and non perfected versions based on whether you get them in the normal version of the arena or asylum sectorium or um, the veteran version. Okay. And what the arena weapons do is they enhance your damage based on a certain weapon skill being used. So currently there are five weapon skills that you can use across the board for all weapons, right? Restoration staff, destruction staff, you name it, okay? And what it does is for instance, you can get daggers that amplify your damage when you use spectral cloak or something like that. That's one of the abilities in the dual wield skill line. Okay, so that's the foundation here. So how would mythic or monster set weapons differentiate from them. In my opinion, the only thing that would make sense is they would have to go away from the weapon skills and they would have to tie themselves directly to becoming a proc set of their own. Um, I think that's the only thing that would make sense. Now you could also make like class mythic weapons and you could make it so that it functions the same way as an arena weapon but it enhances your damage based on a certain class ability being used. So for Templar, whenever you use your jabs, it amplifies the damage. Whenever you use the beam on your Arcanist, it amplifies the damage, stuff like that. That would be what I would assume would be the only way that this would work. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this guy's post. I understand that there are arena sets that exist, but I want something more than a weapon that works only with a specific ability or weapon skill line. For example, a dagger that builds charges after successful bow kills that spawns the Wrath of Sithis would be fun to play. Okay. What's, or a shield that absorbs all magicka damage up to a certain point, then once overcharged, can deliver a devastating magicka debuff to enemies when bashing. That'd be nice. Like, why can't we have cool mythic weapons? Monster sets should have a unique weapon as well with an added bonus. Can we do this instead of adding more gear sets that are mostly ignored? So, first and foremost, I don't necessarily get excited about the examples that he used, but I know what he's saying or what they're saying, excuse me. Um, and I think it would be cool. I think, you know, I agree with the, the gear set implementation aspect of this post, especially constantly, we are getting new and more sets added to the game. And I mean, they've, they've added so many sets at this point. A lot of times we're getting almost duplicated ideas, just in different armor weights. And it's not that exciting. You know, and a lot of times you get things that are basically the exact same thing as another set visually and functionally. It's just colors are differentiating. So instead of using blood, you use glass shards, like mirror more shards or whatever, um, and gold rope, right? Like it, it's a lot of it's becoming the same thing. So I think going out and differentiating the gearing system as a whole would be cool. Maybe creating a new armor slot. Obviously, we haven't been able to have capes or anything like that, but adding like a backpack slot or like a, a an earring slot or something like that, or a class charm slot, I think would be really interesting. I think adding arena, I'm sorry, not arena, but mythic weapons would be interesting. I think that adding 
class weapons would be interesting. I mean, we saw how the class sets went, so I don't know how well they could they could implement that. But we saw how that went. Um, you know, I think adding more sets that are three piece sets or four piece sets or six piece sets or just like random stuff like that, more usable. 12 piece sets where it fills up every single armor slot that you have. This kind of stuff is what I want to see more of, and not the typical five piece set options. I think that was one of the big complaints when we actually had the class sets launched, was it didn't really do anything. They weren't very effective. They were still the same old five piece sets. And the only thing that it really did was make your armor glow. And now you don't even need that because we can get the style pages. Nobody uses the class sets, you know? And part of that is, is we're just adding fluff to the game. It's not adding any substance. And they need to add more substance, more options, more build variety that we can actually mix and match with. Arena weapons, mythic gear, that stuff was incredible to add because it allowed you to have different options. Monster sets too. You know, you could run a mythic, a monster set, an arena set, and a five piece set. Like you could do mix and match all these different types of sets together, right? But adding more of these five piece sets, we've already got like so many incredible five piece sets. It's just not necessary. It, it's that? really not. And I would I'd rather see them really just invent something new. Like just you know go down the line of actually creating new stuff and not just say okay we're going to do three five piece sets and in mythic uh, I'm sorry four five piece sets in the new trial then we're going to get three in this dungeon we're going to get three in over like. like it's just, it's very vanilla. And we've been doing this for 10 years now. There's hundreds of sets that aren't used. We don't need more of that. We need stuff like this. We need them to really just come up with some new stuff. Okay. Let's see what some of the comments are that we'll get out of here. I don't think there's anything particularly preventing a mythic weapon from existing, but unless it has some weird utility use, it's the sort of knife edge thing where it becomes mandatory or useless. I specifically mentioned, this is coming from Stark Realm, who is an ex-content creator. I specifically mentioned Mythic Weapons to Rich a few years ago. So at this point, it's a deliberate choice on their part. This guy's not describing, scribing. Um, yeah. So that's, I mean, that's basically what we were saying, is some people are like, well, it sounds like arena weapons, so you'd have to differentiate it. It has to not be tied to weapon skills. It'd have to be tied to class skills, or it'd have to be tied to maybe even like world skills or I don't know, enhancing werewolf or vampire, or it'd have to be a prox set on its own. But I think that this is the sort of thing that ESO needs to move forward with and do more of is changing the way that we can create builds. Scribing is bringing a new way to do that. Absolutely. Having the customizability to take an active ability and change it is fantastic, right? I think that that's great. And that adds a lot of build variety for people. There will always be a meta, obviously, but I think having this as an option is super cool. And we just need more of this with the actual gear itself now. So we're, we're changing some of the weapon abilities finally. We're making things look good. Hopefully they can eventually add this to like werewolf, vampire, the class skill lines, that'd be dope. But I think at the end of the day, we also need the gear to change. We need, we need something different than the prototypical five piece sets that we always see. Anyways. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this kind of discussion format, let me know. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe for more daily ESO content like this. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.